The first thing that comes to mind when you hear the Sahara Desert is a harsh, unforgiving climate with nothing good to look for. Be not deceived as this desert holds many untold stories about millions of mysteries we are yet to unravel. Scientists had a breakthrough with one that will shock you to the core. The Sahara Desert spreads itself across 10 countries and is known as one of the world's harshest hot deserts, and rightly so. Popular opinion had it that the harsh desert was nothing but a pile of sand and poisonous snakes trying to have a life in the desert until two astronauts revealed something contrary. McDivitt and White were on a space mission during the Gemini 4 space venture when they saw a giant eye staring back at them from Earth. It was the blue eye of the Sahara Desert, which has a lot to tell about what it has seen during the thousand years of its existence. The blue eye of the Sahara is found in the Uadane region of Mauritania, spanning about 45 kilometers. Its magnificent structure resembles the rings of a bullseye and is best viewed from the sky. Owing to its structure, the locals of the area gave it the name Rishat, which can be translated as feathers. But you realize all these naming doesn't answer the million-dollar question of what caused the African eye's formation. Curious scientists and archaeologists came up with a hotly debated theory saying that it was caused by the fall of a meteorite. After all, it was a structure of a perfect circle with ridges in between. The best explanation seemed to be the impact of a meteorite. Well, until they realized that the circular eye structure in the middle of Africa's largest desert was bulging from the outside. That alone disqualified the first theory, until a new one based on a heavy pile of evidence followed afterwards. But before that, an exciting theory sprouted saying that the Richot structure is the lost city of Atlantis. Since Plato said that Atlantis had concentric rings, it made sense at the time. Scientists unearthed several interesting artifacts in the outer ring, including pottery shards, spearheads, and ship anchors. But this wasn't as satisfying to most scientists, which led to the next assumption. Now, the next theory has gained wide acceptance among the scientific community. The best explanation for a perfectly circular eye bulging out in the middle of a desert is geological uplift followed by erosion from wind and water. We all know how windy a desert can get, especially during the monsoon winds. Plus, when the rains decide to pay a visit to the arid lands, they normally come with compensation for the days they didn't show up. From the little science we've put here and there, that's the best explanation scientists had for the Sahara's eye. Suppose you are not convinced. How about taking a mini vacation exploring the African eye and seeing it yourself? But be warned, it won't be such a luxurious vacation. Anyhow, the Saharan Richat structure still holds more mystery than meets the eye. Have you ever stopped to think about how the Saharan desert looked like 5,000 years ago? If you guessed it was still a desert, you'd be in for a rude shock. The Sahara Desert was once a savanna. In fact, scientists revealed evidence that Sahara was filled with exotic vegetation, climate, and animals, putting Amazon to shame. If the two were compared, Amazon would look like child's play. The vast land was either filled with Earth's carpet, grass, or very large trees and teeming with the most beautiful life forms. But this paradise, unfortunately, didn't last. So what happened? The much kinder Saharan savanna climate was suddenly disrupted by an ice age that caused monsoon wind to do almost irreparable damage to a formerly beautiful land expanse. A desert started spreading almost immediately, eventually resulting in what we have today, an unrelenting desert. But there's some hope. The desert can be green again if the winds blow in the right direction for the right amount of time. We could start talking about a new savanna land in Africa. Until then, Let's share with you some exciting evidence that paints the whole picture of the faded beauty of Miss Sahara. The first will blow your mind. Right beneath the partly sandy, partly rocky Saharan desert is a lake. You heard that right. The lake spanned about 42,000 square miles, about 50 meters deep, and was home to many creatures. Fossils of hippos, catfish, and sea snakes were discovered therein, telling the tale of quite a rich sea fauna. Turns out the lake was a strong support system even for the land creatures that existed in the desert long before most of us could even spell their names. Fossils of large land animals, including dinosaurs, were also recovered around the area adding to the evidence that Sahara was once a paradise. The Sahara Desert is sufficiently ruthless, and saying that you, a human being, can survive in the middle of that desert will be a generous assertion. A 
I don't know if you can see this, but this whole place really is Mother Nature at her most unforgiving. And this desert has to be one of the hardest places in the world just to stay alive for any period of time. Contrastingly, whole cities and geniusly constructed castles were discovered in the middle of this harsh environment. The level of civilization of the buried castle is astonishing. Castles built during the pre-desert period of the Sahara indicate that the humans living in this region were irrigation farmers. Long trails of perfectly constructed canals draining on what seemed to be like their fields were recovered beneath the Saharan desert. Rishat's structure is undeniably one of the most attractive places in the Sahara Desert. Nonetheless, if you thought this desert was only sand, you might want to rethink. Sahara is 30% sand and 70% rocks. Still, there's another part of the Sahara that tends to miss out on most geographical books. The Tibesti Mountains in northern Chad. Tibesti Mountain is an active volcano with various lava domes, cinder cones, lava flows, and mars visible, all competing with Risha for beauty. Currently, a group of scientists discovered an unknown script. It looks more like a puzzle with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Scientists are employing cutting-edge technology to understand the meaning of the scripts. Perhaps these scripts will help us rewrite history books with unequaled precision and provide insights as to what was there in the ancient Sahara. Maybe the African eye might turn out to be the lost Atlantis or some other kind of foundation of a long-demolished structure. We don't know, but we are eager to understand what message this script has for us. As for the Sahara, despite the harsh climate and many other hotly depressing things about a desert, it is a preferred tourist destination that has earned the different countries it spans some handsome revenue. Aside from that, the desert has been a source of minerals, oil, and gas. Statistics show that Algeria owes 60% of its revenue from the oil and gas industry. Then the last, but definitely not the least thing we get from the desert is the perfect source of solar energy. If this resource is well exploited, Saharan countries would exist independently of the grid. What shocked you most about the Sahara Desert? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest and most exciting tech news. With our notifications, you won't miss a thing. Till next time, cheers.